Welcome to another Mac app or video review. I'm Michael Mastretta and today we're going to talk about an application called Popchar, which is an application that allows you to input special characters that you don't really use that often. And sometimes it's hard to remember the keyboard shortcut for them and this makes it really easy to find and insert, insert them with ease and even it helps you to remember them in the future. So Popchar functions as it can go in the corner of your menu bar or I have it up here just as a standard menu bar icon and whenever you need to insert a special character into a text document or pages or a word document you just click the little P and it will just come out with a standard uh, Mac OS X minimize effect and you have your little window here and I'm running this on Leopard and it looks great so right here you can choose between ASCII text so just your standard characters and then you also got Unicode here which as you can see there's a whole bunch of different characters here that it's kind of a little daunting at first to look at all these things and say how do I find the one I'm looking for and uh, Popchar actually makes that very easy at first I was like do I have to look through all of these but after reading through a couple of the manuals and stuff you see that there's a couple of ways so the first way of course is let's say I want to find the euro symbol I don't remember the keyboard shortcut for it I want to find what it is all you have to do is they have a really great search up there all you have to do is type e euro and of course you get the euro symbol just clicking the euro will insert it into your text document here. Down here also you can choose if you want it inserted as HTML, if you want it inserted as formatted text or just standard text like in the text document. So if I click that it will just be inserting it as standard text down here. Um, let's look at some another way to do this. They have different categories so arrows, mathematical operations, miscellaneous technical, they have a whole bunch of different categories here. If you just click this little little knob right here, what it's going to do is it's going to give you a whole drop down of all the categories. And you can look. So Greek extended, uh, Hebrew, if you click Hebrew, it will just bring you right up to the Hebrew category and you can start clicking characters in. What's also really cool is down here, there's a little magnifying glass. If you click on this magnifying glass, whenever you mouse over, you get this cool little window that will show you all your characters in an expanded view. So if you're looking for characters that are slightly different and you don't know which one's which, this can be really helpful as well. And of course you can just turn it off down here. Also, if you look down here, when I mouse over characters, they will give me the name, the actual name of it so I can find that. And if you're looking over common characters that are used like in Mac OS X, so let's say um, we're looking for the copyright symbol which is this. We can see down at the bottom left hand corner of the window There's it gives you the keyboard shortcut for that so it's, for in this case it's option G. So I can insert it for this time but the next time I close Popchar I can kind of remember oh it's option G so I just type option G and I get my copyright symbol. So very easy to identify with Mac OS X special character shortcuts and also just access them. If you're looking for something you just click Popchar it opens up and you can basically, they have tons in here that probably has every single thing you need. Also, you can um, change the font of what you're inserting. So there's a couple fonts here that you can choose from. You can actually open up a drawer and have the whole font list here. You can just find all the fonts and you can see all these characters and lovely different fonts. What's even cooler though is Popchar can actually detect the fonts in your document and it will automatically make the characters support the, the same font so you don't get different fonts for different characters which is a really really nice feature as well finally let's look into the preferences to see what else Popchar has to um, often if we open up the preferences here of course we can change the character size so you can make them bigger or smaller to have more fit on a screen you can also um, have recent fonts in a menu so if there's certain fonts that you're using all the time you can have that also one that I find useful and I like to have turned on is highlight recent characters so I find I'm always using the same things over like uh, the euro symbol, the pound symbol, um, French uh, accents, those kind of things so I'm gonna have them highlight my recently my t top 10 recent characters and it'll just have a little yellow highlight mark over it and that way you'll know this is one that I use recently also there's a whole bunch of different things that when it's inserting HTML you can choose it as numbers or HTMC entities also in, under activation you can have that little P show up in the top left corner next to your Apple logo it also have it show up in the 
next to the spotlight window. I prefer to have it in the menu bar, but if you have a cluttered menu bar, of course, you can have it anywhere you want. Finally, um, pop chart, it's really easy to activate. You just click the P, but when you want to get rid of the window, you can make it um, that automatically after selecting a character will fade out really nicely. You can even make it so that when the mouse pointer leaves the window, it it um, will just turn off. But I like setting it so that when I click outside of the window again, it will just fade into the background and I don't have to think about it. And it's it's a really, really handy application to have running in the background. The f and as you can see now, all my recently used characters are highlighted in yellow. Popchar is a great little application to be ha running in the background. It makes finding characters simple and easy and it's $29.99 from Organa Software. Just want to thank everyone today for tuning in to this MacApper video review.